were talking earlier about maybe working toward a PhD. Have yes. you thought about the curriculum you would take and the path? You know, I I wasn't sure. Like, I've always had this goal, right? But I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Now that I've, I've been in this situation, I want to do something related to spinal cord injury. So maybe even some sort of um, study on support and how that affects healing, um, physical healing, and maybe measure the amount of healing between people who have had a lot of support um, and people that have not. Maybe even um, get into age, maybe how does age affect it, or just different, you know, different types of studies maybe that would, you know, give a little, shed a little bit more light on what it means to heal and what is healing you know is it just physical or is it mental like what does it mean to be healed you know just things like that but more related to spinal cord injury um i also i've, I've always worked with youth um, especially youth who are troubled so that's another thing is not maybe not even just spinal cord but what helps a a, a person spe specifically maybe a young person heal from whether it be sexual abuse or drug abuse or um, just a life of of negative, you know, negative behavior, um, is it support? And then, you know, maybe relate it to, you know, an accident or, um, you know, things like that. So I'm, I'm just interested in seeing, you know, the mind and how everything works related to healing. <music>good age in terms of possible uh, cures for spinal, spinal cord injuries? Have you thought about that? Or Absolutely, every yeah. single day. You follow, follow that work? And oh yes. I'm so, so looking forward to stem cell becoming something big and something very, um, we would have more access to it. I, I've researched a lot and obviously other countries are already doing, you know, have it mm -hmm. and people are healing already. So becoming even an advocate for that um, maybe even getting deeper into legislation, um, politics. I used to do a lot of things like that before. So now relating that to now my situation. Um, I've also looked into a lot of holistic medicine, acupuncture, um, diet, um, massage therapy, things like that that are not necessarily always the traditional, you know, the traditional uh, rehabilitation um, for people who are injured, or and even listening to people who have been injured in other countries and what they've done. Because I have a friend who actually was a paraplegic and he's he walks now. He was in a wheelchair for only about two years, but he was told nothing that he would never. And he was fairly young when he did that, but he went to El Salvador and his uncle was a doctor and they put him through all these really strange treatments. And not that he was cured, but. He, he got a lot better than, you know, he expected. And, I mean, who knows? It might have been his body and his injury and all that, the healing of his own body, but it's really interesting to see what other people do. So that, you know, that I've totally looked into all that, and it's funny, there's a study on M&Ms, the, the dye in M&Ms and in Gatorade and the, the blue dye they put in and how that's helped rats heal. Yeah. So M&Ms it is for me. <laughs> um, <laughs> so... Um, you know, but just things like that that are, I don't care. I've even, you know, I've told my physical therapist, you know what? I don't even care if you bombard me with fleas. Just anything that, you know, would help me heal. You know, I don't care what it is. I'm willing to try anything, you know, so, yeah. A new patient in the hospital in your situation six months ago, what would be your advice to them or encouragement or whatever? Oh gosh, there's so much I would tell them. I think I would bombard them with too much. <laughs> <laughs> um, just to stay just to stay positive, but not just that, but not to put all their hopes on what the doctors tell them. Because for me at first I had I didn't want to hear anything about my injury at all. I didn't want to learn anything, I didn't want to know anything. Um, but obviously with time comes acceptance. But because I never really put all of my hope into 
just the textbook definition of what I was. Physically, I was able to just keep going. Yes, am I supposed to listen to the doctor? Absolutely. Am I supposed to follow treatment? Absolutely. Am I supposed to learn about what it is to be disabled, about what my body will do now? Yeah. You know, am I supposed to, you know, become an expert on taking care of myself? Absolutely. However, um, things change. And we don't always remain the way we were when we were just newly hurt. Our bodies are still in shock. Our bodies are still, you know, our spinal cords are still swollen. Our nerves are still all messed up, you know. So even our, mentally, our mind still hasn't understood that we are paralyzed or not or whatever our diagnosis is, you know. So not to, you know, put again, not to put all your hope in, in what medicine says, you know, and what the textbooks say because we change. Um, I think also to not tell yourself that you can't. I think um, that you can do whatever you want to. It's just your mind that holds you back from it. Um, I think that's the biggest obstacle is our mind. Um, there's people that run marathons, well not run, but that do marathons in their wheelchairs. That um, there's people that have become professors, or people that you know get their PhDs. There's people that raise families, get married. It, it's you know limitless. But I think we put limits on ourselves. So in that sense, don't put limits on you, and to take the time to really absorb what it is that they're going through. Yeah, that taking the time, being patient. Absolutely. And not necessarily Absolutely. being in the moment, but give your chance self a chance to get down the road a little bit yes. and see how things are. And being aware of what you what is going on. Mm -hmm. Just awareness psychologically. Mm -hmm. Okay, where am I? Okay, I'm in the hospital. What's going on? You know, let me listen to my body. Let me right be patient. Um, this is not gonna be forever. The the you know, better days will come. That I think the hospital stays are the worst part. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that there won't be bad days because there will be but it's not going to be anything compared to having a broken neck or having a broken back or whatever it was that, you know, was, is happening. So, yeah. Well, gosh, really appreciate your offering yeah, to do this. You. and You're very kind. Yeah, thank you. You I look great. My thank goodness. <laughs> Thanks. I, you know, I, you got to become, you got to get back to who you are, you know, and you're not deformed. You're not a monster. You know, you're not completely different. It's just your chair or mm -hmm. you know your lifestyle a little different